Hello. Hello. Oh, I, I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I managed to create letter A. Here it is. Uh, we should rotate the phone like this. So uh, this is slow. This is medium. One second. This is medium. Medium speed. And this is fast. And he's trembling right now. He's vibrating. And also that LED is signaling that it is indeed vibrating. This one as well. This red one. But it's not showing. Very good. And this is ultra fast and ultra steady. Ultra fast and ultra steady. And this is giga fast and giga steady. But uh, is really no different from this uh, last two. So yeah, here it is, letter A. Uh, what is doing actually uh, all this uh, ensemble uh, right now is counting to seven. All this uh, thing here is counting to seven. This is counting automatically. Uh, um, it's uh, just pulsing. It's like pressing the button on off on off on off on multiple multiple times to infinite. Uh, this is the actual button that is not connected to anything. I changed its wire. And from uh, with it, I am uh, switching uh, from address to address uh, manually. And I will show the process uh, after this movie. But right now, I am I am very very. Is oh, oh, oh. <laughs> how much work was to make a single letter to display? How much work? Incredible, incredible. Uh, yeah, it's a it was a huge project. At least for me, I know people they they just breed this kind of projects. For them, it's just ah, like water. But for me, it was the first uh, circuit that involved uh, a prom memory chip. This one where I pointing right now. Let me actually use my my trusty knife here that is not shortening anything. Because it's metal. So this guy here, the AAPROM uh, memory chip. The first time in my life I'm using it. Also a bunch of uh, logic gates that I'm really used to at all. <laughs> this is my first my first project, or or better say, my first serious project uh, using and involving uh, um, logic gates. Uh, NAND gates, AND gates, not, or inverter gates. Uh, I didn't use uh, other more... Uh, more complicated ones, but these simple ones uh, I use. And for the first time, I mean, I, I had an idea, general, a very general idea about uh, how this uh, uh, works, how this uh, logic gates works. But now, actually working with them, uh, hitting my head with problems, and trying to resolve them, and also discussing with uh, my friends from uh, England, from America, uh, from Poland, <laughs> the new guy, uh, my friend, my new friend there. Uh, yeah, it's uh, fantastic. Romania to all these uh, countries. <laughs> uh, we are uh, making a mafia right now, <laughs> electronic mafia. Uh, so yes, it is working absolutely fine. Uh, from here, I'm uh, cycling the speed from this uh, little thing. Uh, here is 10 microfarads. That is, you can see the green LED is pulsing. Also that blue LED, do you see how, how slowly it's getting on and off? And this is actually, let me, so when that is getting off or on, it's reaching the last line there. And it's starting to count from one here. One, two, uh, one is there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven is zero. And when it's resetting the, the counter. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm actually looking here on this uh, yellow LEDs to, to count uh, which one is one and which number it is. Holy shit. And uh, yes, it's, uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm not sure if, if I should uh, put everything that you see here on the breadboards or on a single, uh, on a single uh, board, um, a final board that will uh, hold this entire project because it's my first uh, displaying project uh, and the idea comes from England from Mr. Marconi actually and I liked the idea I've also learned a ton uh, well learned and uh, have get experience that's uh, what I've uh, what I was after when I when I put my eyes on this project project when he when we discussed about it when he showed me his version of the project which was not that wide like like I have here uh, his was much more smaller I think he used three breadboards three breadboards like this one uh, in the uh, line with each other like this very very long uh, board and uh, I think it was three or probably also four I don't remember yeah I had I have one two three four five there. <laughs> The, uh, four and a half if you want you know but this half is not used so kind of four holy crap and it's working i'm so oh ho, ha. <laughs> and next and i've, I've actually i've tested this little uh, circuit uh changing the addresses this guy here is uh, ch uh will change the address i took out from uh, from that pin to plus or to minus whatever and that will change the actual address that will switch the letter so uh, from now is counting at um uh, let me speed it up a little bit like that so now it's fluctuating. You see the it's pulsing, and also this guy is pulsing. But I'm not sure if you can actually see it. No, but these ones you can see them pulsing a little bit. Is is actually uh, no, it's it's strobing quite visible if you look at it too much. is is very disturbing uh, at this frequency. But uh, if I'm changing from this frequency to to the next address, uh, it will change to B. But I didn't make the B letter. So probably the next movie will be making the B letter. Hopefully, <laughs> but right now I made the letter A finally <laughs> with this. If I reach this stage, project over. That's it. <laughs> no more. <laughs> uh, that guy made made uh, to letter P. So A B C D A F G H G H I J K L M N O P. And uh, I don't know how many. Probably sixteen. 
letters or 20 letters or something. Uh, he put a lot of them. Uh, and I managed to make the first one right now. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy hard. Hardcore project. Very hardcore for, project for me. For me, it was the first the first one. But this is a mini computer, what we are seeing here. A mini computer computer that is the only reason for, for it to, to exist is to display letters when you program it and when you uh, set it. When you press a button to display letter. <laughs> This is it. It's a stupid project, but uh, you learn a lot. You learn a lot. And, uh, you can do a lot of, with it, actually. Uh, like signs, if you have a lot of uh, letters, a lot of matrix, uh, lead matrix like that, uh, you can do, yeah, you can play. And not only for lead matrix, you can do motors or oof, even sounds. Who knows? Who knows? It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very versatile and uh, <laughs> extremely manual. You have to, ah, well, the, 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 the programming itself is a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's not fun. Uh, the, the programming but uh yeah it's, it's possible that's the point that's the point of this entire thing thank you very much i'm very very happy at this point that i reach alone this point i my friend only told me about the project but he didn't intervene he didn't tell me a uh, link that wire to there no i had to think everything and it was hardcore hardcore i tell you all right uh, thank you very much and uh, see you later alligator bye bye for now